Okay, so I wanted to show you guys something, um, and just I wanted to share it because I don't I don't feel like a lot of people know about it, um, and because a lot of people don't know about it, I, I scored recently. <laughs> I scored big. Um, so if you don't know by the title, I'll be talking about the 3DR Solo Drone. Okay, as we all know, if you have one, um, the company went out of business. Doesn't maintain their app anymore and when you try to configure if, if you restarted your controller you're screwed right that's that's what your thought is if you restarted your controller um you're gonna get stuck on the pre-flight um download instructions like it, it won't download you know, even, even if you get it to download to your phone you won't be able to download it to the controller which then goes to your drone um and you get stuck there and it's frustrating you're like okay i'll just try it again and again and again and it doesn't work Okay, so one thing I want you to do right now, dig it out of the closet, okay? And if it's stock, all the better, because these instructions are for the stock. If it's for, if you have the green cube, then it, there's gonna be different instructions of what I give you. So this right here is my 3DR drone, okay? Um, I got it pretty much for free. Um, there's this guy on Facebook Marketplace and, um, I had seen it on there for a long time, and I was like, "Hey, I have this iPad Mini. You know, it's it's just a one. It's, but it's it's still sellable. Um, people will pay for it, even if because he was asking a hundred bucks for this, um, thinking it didn't work, didn't work, and no one was buying it. So I was like, you know what? I'll do him a little solid. I'll give him my iPad Mini, and I'll have a project to do. And I scored big because I fixed it. Um, so I have my controller charging and my battery for the drone charging." But what I wanted to show you today, okay, um, it's called the Solex app. Uh, Solex is made by, um, I can't remember what his name is, but I've been, uh, I've been chatting with him. Um, pretty nice fella or woman, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember what the name was. Um, but great customer service. Uh, was very quick to respond to emails and it was very quick to give me instruction. He actually, he or she asked me to, um, Go on Facebook and join the JB um, 3DR solo group. Um, I asked to answer a few questions and I got in immediately. Um, and all I had to do was just, hey, I had to ask, hey, what do I do in this situation? Like, it's it's totally bricked. It's totally borked, right? And I don't know what to do with it. Um, and I've heard that Solex will help it. You know, it's an application that I can... Um, use it with rather than the solo app because it's complete trash. Um, and yeah, they said, okay, yeah, you can use it for it. That's, that's great that we use that for a lot of our drones. Um, and my question wasn't, I, I knew that there was some issue. I thought maybe it was between the controller, that there's like a connectivity issue between the controller and the drone, but it turns out it's just a software. It's not between the drone and that it would connect. Um, so I had, I had taken apart the entire drone. I had taken part, um, <laughs> Pretty much what I did is I took all these screws out, right? And this is something that you'd probably do anyway. Took all these screws out, uh, took off this cap, and uh, for one and two, or is it two and three? I can't remember. But either side, it doesn't matter, um, as long as it's the same side. You take off these fellas, okay? There's going to be um, screws underneath these plastic caps for the lights, uh, you can take off and you have to give room for the wire because all these wires are super fragile and they're all connected to a, a, a main um, board in here. Um, and then there's an SD card, like a micro SD card that you have to clean out. You have that in here and in the controller. This one, I, I know it took longer, but that one was more fragile and more frustrating because there's two moving pieces and it was just a lot of wires that were tightly um, um, put together or I guess positioned together. Um, but yeah, so... Once I did that, I did the solo thing again. It didn't work. And like I said, I asked these guys uh, what to do. And it's called Solex. It's amazing. Um, obviously, since it has an SD card, you have to flash a new software onto it. Um, and, of course, I, I bet you could do that by just taking the card out. But it's just a lot of work getting to it. So, rather, you can it make they make it easy on Solex. Um, they give you a set of instructions. I can include that in this link. And all you're doing is connecting between your main internet and then between your solo um, and making all these updates. But you have to be very careful because it's going to do a complete wipe and that's going to put their new 
uh, flashed um, um, material on there, software on there, and then it's going to seal it up um, with the file. So whenever you reset it, it goes back to the Solo 4, which they've created, um, pro, uh, program or software, whatever they want to call it. Um, so yeah, I'll include this in your link, and I hope it helps you out. Um, I tested it last night, and it was great. I, I didn't fly it yet um, just because um, it's cold out for one, and I haven't calibrated it yet, and two, I don't have the, I guess, permit or license that I need to get. It's like $5 for um, the state of Idaho, um, and I just got to do some calibration before I really want to take it out and try it. I, it's kind of been windy, so. Um, but I can attach the video. It works. Um, I hope it helps you out. So um, I'll have to show you this uh, app in just a second, S show you how it works. Okay, so this is what I'm going to show you. I'm going to slide over. Okay, Solex is right here. It's the um, alien ship, okay, the saucer. Um, this is going to cost you, it's, it's, <laughs> it's a shame that it costs that much, but it's, it's a lifesaver. I mean, if you have used, I can buy this for $699 if it works. Um, so obviously I scored and what I was saying before, but this is, this is the program. Okay. So, um, it's kind of similar to, um, the solo app, <clears throat> but where you're going to go is you're going to come over here into the, um, I guess the settings tab or the options tab, whatever. Um, the first thing that you're going to do is go to your app settings, okay? And initially, I, I, I had spent a lot of time, I was like, okay, well, where's the firmware updates? How do, how do I do this? And there's actually a tab right here called advanced mode, okay? So I'll just toggle it on. You toggle toggle it on, you see it hasn't popped up yet, right? Um, sometimes it just takes a little while to get there. It doesn't go there automatic too quickly. Um, but you'll see one at the very, very bottom that says um, firmware updates. Um, so I'm, what I might do is go back out of it, go back in. Okay, it's not there. Perhaps I'll get out of the app. Okay, so don't be scared if you don't see it. Get out of the app, go back in, maybe even restart your phone. Okay, go back to the app settings. Um, it might take a second. So. Um, and you know what? I'm actually leading you astray right now. To show you what I mean, I'm going to have to plug in my battery. So this is something else I caught myself on yesterday that I freaked out. And I was like, oh, crap. I just saw it. Like, where, where do I go? Um, so what you have to do is plug in your device. Okay. I'm not going to do the full thing because I don't want to bork it um, or brick it. So I'll power it on. You can imagine me doing that. Just holding it down. All the lights flicker on. And it flashes green and red and orange. Um, and now it's blue. It should be in a pairing. So I'm going to go to my Wi-Fi. And I'll go to switch out of my Netgear 55. And where are you? Linkies. It's going to be it's going to be called Solo Link. And there's actually something you need to do. Um, so imagine me doing this. I'm, I can't show you because I'm just screen recording. Okay. You're going to have to take a... Um, a thin piece of wire or a push pin or even a paper clip or I, I'm using a bobby pin or a bobby pin um, a closed safety pin uh, that I've taken off the tip with with a pair of pliers and I'm gonna go to the pair um, on the back side it's a little hole it has a pair next to it and I'll click it for three seconds okay so hold down for three seconds and then I let go okay and you should see it um, pop up soon and I actually forgot to do this too. You have to turn on the remote, so that's my fault. I'm over the place right now. I wish I had it ready for you. Um, but it just vibrated. It opens. It, right now it says open solo, but when you open it up, it'll say pre-flight update uh, required uh, before first flight. Um, let's see. Let's waiting for solo. Okay. So on your screen for your receiver or your, your, uh, your radio or your whatever you want to call it controller it's going to say waiting for solo and then it beeped okay that means it is connected and right now mine says searching for gps but yours will say um, connected to device connected to drone paired or whatever so now on my screen solo link has popped up and the generic um, password for this was just solo link it's the same thing okay so now that i've 
connected to it, I can come back to this app and I go down to the bottom. Okay, I'll have to go to app connected settings to again. Vehicle. Okay, let it download all the parameters. Vehicle type is solo. Okay, and I'm sorry, let me come back down. Advanced mode is on. I scroll down to the bottom. There you go, it's firmware updates. And I'm not going to push on in these because I don't want to download them. Um, but what's going to happen, okay, so I've I've connected to the um, the drone, okay, through my radio into the drone, or my controller to the drone. Okay, you're going to see there's no updates here. What you have to do, go back to your Wi-Fi, go back to your home Wi-Fi, so mine's Netgear 55 5G, okay, it's my strongest one for my range. Um, I'll come back, okay, you might have to go back out of it and come back in. Okay, so now it's loading. Okay, we'll just give it a second. Let's come back in, go to firmware updates. It should come on in just a second. Mobile app disconnected and app, okay, download completed. Did I stop it too short? It might be that sometimes, and it's, it's kind of a hit or miss um, with it, honestly. So always just go back into it, try again. Okay, select a package, install, download your vehicle. Okay, so I'm gonna clean up. Ah, no, I don't wanna clean up. Okay, so right now, um, I have, th this is this is what I had last time, okay? So I, I forget about that. I, I clean up and push okay. Uh, when you have this, there's going to be actually a lot more options here. I've used a lot of them, so they aren't here. Um, but follow the directions, and you're going to be downloading each of these. Wait until they download. Don't mess with the controller. Don't mess with the drone. Don't mess with your phone. Don't exit out. Just let it be until all downloads. And then follow the on-screen instructions and the PDF that I give you. Um, so I hope that really does help. Um, follow those instructions, and you should have a working drone within probably an hour. So, good luck. Okay. Start. So that's all I'm going to do is I don't want to take off in here. So I'm going to turn it off. But now you know it works. So there you go.